Thanks for tuning in, and welcome back to another Technique Thursday. Before we start, just a quick reminder that if you like what you see and are interested in learning proper exercise technique, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the exercise technique videos. Also, if you have any questions, ask them down in the comment section and we'll either respond to you directly in the comment section or answer your questions during our weekly Sunday Q&A. Alright, time to demonstrate the exercise. The exercise we will be demonstrating for you will be the Incline Barbell Bench Press. To perform the Incline Barbell Bench Press, check the height of the seat to ensure that your thighs are approximately parallel to the floor with your feet flat and adjust the bench so that when you are laying on the bench, your eyes are directly below the racked bar. Next, lie supine on the bench with your feet firmly planted on the floor slightly behind your knees with your butt shoulders, upper back, and head planted firmly on the bench, while maintaining a neutral spine throughout the entire exercise. Grasp the bar evenly with a closed and pronated grip, slightly wider than shoulder width apart, and retract your shoulder blades and pull them down toward your butt to fix your scapula. Exhale as you press the bar to lift it off the rack and position the bar between your neck and face with your elbows fully extended. This will be your starting position. Begin the movements by inhaling as you lower the bar slowly and under control toward the chest. Keep your wrists stiff and your forearms perpendicular to the floor as you move your elbows down past your torso and slightly away from your body. Lower the bar and guide it to lightly touch your upper chest area without bouncing the bar, arching your low back or raising your chest and maintaining all five points of contact with your feet, hips, torso and head. Exhale as you press the bar up and slightly backward to the starting position while keeping your head, upper back and hips on the bench and feet on the floor and maintaining a neutral spine. Keep your wrists stiff and your forearms perpendicular to the floor and parallel to each other. Continue pressing the bar up until your elbows are fully extended but not forcefully locked. Repeat these steps for the prescribed number of repetitions then place the bar back onto the rack, keeping your grip on the bar until both ends are secure and motionless on the supporting pins. Regarding tempo, there will be four numbers which will determine the speed of the movement. The first number is going to be the eccentric portion, or the lowering phase of the movement. The second number is going to be the pause at the bottom of the movement. The third number is going to be the concentric portion, or the lifting phase of the movement. And the fourth number is going to be the pause at the top of the movement. Therefore, a tempo prescription of 5010 will require you to lower the weight for 5 seconds and immediately lift the weight for 1 second without resting at the bottom or top of the movement. A tempo prescription of 3210 will require you to lower the weight for 3 seconds, rest at the bottom position for 2 seconds, and lift the weight for 1 second without resting at the top position. A tempo prescription of 4021 will require you to lower the weight for 4 seconds, lift the weight for 2 seconds without resting at the bottom, and rest for 1 second at the top of the movement before performing the next repetition. A tempo prescription of 2121 will require you to lower the weight for 2 seconds, rest at the bottom position for 1 second, lift the weight for 2 seconds, and rest at the top position for 1 second before performing the next repetition. That's it for today's video. Thanks for tuning in. If you liked what you saw, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the exercise technique videos. And if you have any questions, ask them down in the comment section, and we'll either respond to you directly in the comment section, or answer your questions during our weekly Sunday Q&A. Keep fit, have fun, and we'll see you again next week.